What is up guys, Expert Winner here, but you call me Dominic, we are back here with WWE 2K20, my career match, so let's do this. And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. Oh shit, look at that sign. It's much, much better. Shit. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. Well, shit, I wonder who he's talking about. I guess we'll find out. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So, other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch, why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! B b before you go any further... Please don't do that uh, ever again, please. Straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So, how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. I'm, I'm serious. And so am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Brock Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there's only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being? Your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. Oh shit, we're gonna go find The Undertaker. Alright, let's do this. It's kinda creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, all I heard was BOO! Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? 
He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. Oh shit, I wonder what's inside the boiler room. Let's find out, I guess. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait, I think I just saw something move. Hello? Are you sure about this? Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. Ah! Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um, Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find the Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, how do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. What was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor. Not bad. You're eating it? Cool. What the hell? What the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into the netherworld, it looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. Fine. She doesn't like pineapple on her pizza? Who is she? Man, I don't think we can be friends anymore. Hey, wait! Papa Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey, snap out of it. What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear. Okay? Look. Oh shit, Kane. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Holy Not shit. Cool. What the? Look out! Alright, let's go, Kane. We find Kane? Let's go. Oh, dang it. What? I'm on Kane. Then at least give me some. Oh shit. That's gotta hurt. Come on, Kane. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Oh, straight into the... What strikes by Kane. And um, they say Undertaker has the better strikes. Oh, push him into the fire. Oh, almost, kind of. Beautiful neck breaker. Oh, what's this thing here? 
pal. Beautiful crossbody, kind of, sort of, maybe not. Go, get up. Here we go. That's how I get up. Right, his health is just barely going down. Oh, gosh, head first. Ooh, what's this thing? Can this thing be used? I don't think so. Maybe I can throw him in it, but that's bad here. Who you doing? Come on, get here. Good job. Ooh. Belly to back. Suplex. Let's go, okay. He just sat up. Ow. Beautiful reversal. Turns him around. Backstabber. And that ended it. Trey? Trey! It's alright, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. What the hell? Are those fireworks? Weird. That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. Who's gonna help us here? No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. Wait, your one is... They're not even lining up. Oh, they're exploding, so... Oh, it's like the 4th of July. All yeah. that for two fireworks? Um, two game. fireworks? I think it worked. Something's coming. How do we know it's a good something? Hey! Help! Wait, is that... I wonder who it is. Is it the Undertaker? Of the boat? No, it's yes! Matt Hardy. Yes! I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I think I the voice is up behind. But I'd be happy now to just make it home alive. Step aboard, Scars God, and I will do my best to guide you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must delete the demon of Death Valley that you speak of. Come on. This is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. Yeah, the voices are definitely behind. All right. Let's move on, I guess. So are you taking us to the Undertaker? Before you do battle with the man who is dead, you must, you must first, first encounter, encounter the lady, the lady of, the of the Marge. Yes, if you look past her, she will make you obsolete, and you will never return to your home dimension. Is there anything else you can tell us about her that would help? She is a creature of darkness, despair, and decay. We have already entered her plane of existence some time ago. How can you tell? It's so dark out here. That's how I can tell. This is as far as Scars God can take you, so I must bid you farewell. That's it? What kind of boat ride doesn't have snacks? Do you at least have anything that can help us see where we're going? Only the Lady of the Marsh's luminance will pierce the darkness. There, in the distance, a flickering light. Our passage of time on the ocean of reincarnation was wonderful. I hope your vessels survive the treacherous conditions you now must face. Good evening, compeers. Did you say pissed away tonight? I don't know. Let's just move on. I should have listened to Paul Heyman and left this alone. I'd be at home on the couch right now watching true crime murder mysteries instead of becoming one. Don't say that. We can do this, whatever this is. That must be the Marsh Lady's cabin. Not great curb appeal. Should we call her out for a fight? Or we could quietly steal the lantern, run for our lives, and try to find a way out of here. I like that plan better. <clears throat> it won't move. 
It's like some invisible force is holding it there. <laughs> I think she's calling us to go in the cabin. You speak Marsh Lady all of a sudden? <laughs> Nikki! See? I was right. Oh, turds. You want to play? Play with Nikki. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. What the, the Bray Wyatt? Is this about me messing with the lantern? I just wanted to get a closer look. It's a, it's an antique, right? Ah, uh, fun. It's just getting started. <laughs> Run. Uh, 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 there's no way out. Never mind. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. All right, let's go, Bray. Want to fight? Let's go. Bring on. Oh. Don't know if I hit him or not because the tra uh, thing's in the way. Um. What can I use? I don't know what I can use over here. Anyways, this is... Is that a boat? Is, is that what I think that is? It, it is a boat. I knew it. Sad. How the hell did that not hit him? That's stupid. Shoot. Elbow. Beautiful neck breaker. Alright, let's get the bone. There it is. There it is. Let's beat him up with the bone. One more ooh, one more shot. Dang it. Yeah. Oh oh you missed. Belly to back. Suplex. Let's go. Alright, what's this thing? Is this a, a sledgehammer? Ooh. Broken ribs, where you at right now? Let's go. Get on up, son. Get on up. Oh no, reversal. Oh. Oh sh shit. Alright, let's go. Turn him around. Back. So, what? Reverse the game. Come on. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Pick him up and drop him on his face. Let's go. Oh. Just kicking our stomach. Let's go, Bray. Oh, let's not go, Bray. Yeah. Sit down, son. Let's go. Come on. What? What are you here? Oh, kicking the Bray. Back. Come on, again. Another reversal. You need to hit him. There we go. Oh no. Oh great. Let's keep up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Bray, what are you going to do, eh? Reverse that. Beautiful drop kick. Now right, get up. You reverse this, I'm going to be angry. Backstabber, and that's it. What the hell? Bray, why with these spider moves? Yeah, I'll just slay down and go to sleep right there as well. Alright, let's go see what Red's doing. What the hell is is Nikki climbing on the walls? What the hell? There she goes again, Spider Nikki.
All right, let's go, Nikki. What the hell? I'm not sure if I want to play now. Let's go then. Oh, great, Nikki. WWE should do a storyline where Nikki uh, Nikki Cross is um working with Bray. Well, Nikki Cross is sister Abigail all along, you know Bray Wyatt. But now he's got the fame. But yeah, if that didn't work, well they can still do it. Saying that Nikki is sister Abigail the whole time. That would be nice. Uh, I need to get rid of this move. I don't like this move. Maybe the German suplex or something. Something besides this. Working on the legs of Nikki Cross right now. So, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. straight to the ribs of Nikki. Oh, I was gonna say, you're just gonna stand there or what? Oh, headbutts by Nikki Cross. Oh. And a reversal. Beautiful dropkick. I can't see Nikki. Beautiful standing flip. Mindu, Bidi. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, come on. Using it like a sledgehammer. Belly to side suplex on that thing, maybe? Can't see. Ah, oh, again. Nice skip up and beautiful. Come on, let's go. Poison Runner coming right up. And Poison Reversal. God dang it, Nicky. And everyone's reversing my stuff, but dude. Oh no. Hey, Nicky, do you want to not use your finisher on me? So I think, oh yeah, let's go. Super kick. Oh, great. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. And. Super kick. I didn't knock her out. Have to be kidding me. Alright, what's this thing? Alright, let's go. Yeah. God dang it. Come on, Nikki. Think about it, yeah? Ooh, reversal. Beautiful reversal. Oh no. God dang it. Is that a mattress in the corner? Nice reversal. And straight into the wall. That knocked her out. Throwing her into the wall, hitting the window. Yeah, that might work. Oh well, let's move on, I guess. Oh, good, you're okay. Yeah, thanks for the help. Wait, you got the lantern off the hook? Yeah, it just lifted right off. I think you were doing something wrong. Or maybe we had to defeat its source of power to gain access to it. Eh, I still think you were doing it wrong. Well, the lantern doesn't seem to be helping very much. It's still pretty dark out here. Wait, over there, through the trees. The light's reflecting off something in the distance. Let's go check it out. Sure, why not? Because we haven't done enough terrifying things yet. I wonder what's down there. I guess we'll find out. It's Undertaker's symbol. We must be close. And look, there's a hook on it, just like the one at the cabin. Wait, is this what I think it is? Is that lava? I really have no idea at this point, but it's worth a shot. Whoa! Is it? I think it is actually. What are all those lights? Are they eyes? Yeah, it is. Hell Coliseum. There it is. Let's go. We mean, waiting to unlock this. I think you summoned him. No, you did. This is your thing, remember? Oh shit, Undertaker. He's got a nice spike. Let's go, Taker. 
Whoa, shit. The How high? Is waiting to drag you through the fires of hell. Let's go then. Let me ride your bike, Taker. Oh shit, let's do this, Takes. I'll take you down, Taker. You go, why wouldn't it let me hit him? I was tapping the button. Anyways, let me get up so I can hit you. Um, ride your motorbike out of here. You gonna do anything? Jeez. I have to reversal. Come on. I don't think the bike's there, actually. Oh, that's a mistake. Yeah, it's not there. That's a mistake if it's not there. Yeah, it's not here. What the hell? Alright, get away from me. And we go this way. Okay. And taking him down. Let's go. And nope. It doesn't look like it's here. Ooh, you're lucky I can't dive take her. Ooh, straight to the base. And kick to the back. And a beautiful cutter. Second rope going for the knee drop. I think I changed it. I want to change it back. The best moonsault ever. And elbows to the heart of Taker. Reverse though. Strikes by Taker. And a straight to the spine. And strikes. Kicks by Trey. And a beautiful neck breaker. Goes to the top right. What is he looking for? Taunt into the fire. And beautiful elbow drop right there. Probably a shout out to Velveteen Dream. What the hell? Oh shit. Take, I used the blackout. Holy shit, okay. Oh, reverse. Oh, reverse DDT. Let's go. Get on up, Taker. Get on up. Let's go. Let's go, Taker. Oh, you don't want to. You want to get the ropes, eh? And dropping him on the ropes. Now let's do this. Come on. Get on up. Come on. Come on. And a backstabber. And that doesn't knock, knock him out. Alright, let's go. I feel like he's gonna double reverse this though. Come on, get up. Pick him up. Yep, I knew it. Uh, keep up. And a beautiful neck breaker. Oh no. Reversal by the Undertaker. Reversal by Trey. Beautiful insecurity right there. Ooh, kinda got the elbow drop, but kinda didn't. Now we got it. And Undertaker reverses. Big clothesline right there. Oh, is this. Oh. That, that knocked me out? Are you kidding? Well, let's run it back, I guess. Super kick, there we go, man. What the hell? What's inside of her? Um... What the... Okay... I guess we found out what's inside the... Um... And... Let's move on, I guess. Whoa! And we're, we're back. back. Unless we're dead, and this is heaven. If heaven's a dark, dirty boiler room, I'm going to reassess how I've been living my life. Wait, so did all of that really just happen? I mean, who knows what kind of chemicals we could have been exposed to in here, which would explain some of the stuff I think I saw. 
What are you pointing at? What? I think there's our answer. Oh, the urn. Okay. Alrighty then. I guess let's move on. It's Paul Heyman. Answer it. Uh, hey, Paul? Hey, don't hate Paul B. I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last hour. My private investigator was there to meet you, and you were nowhere in sight. Private investigator? Wait, so you didn't arrange for Papa Shango to help us find the Undertaker? Papa Shango? No, I didn't arrange for a meeting with Papa Shango. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Hey, do you want expert help, yes or no? Turns out we are no longer in need of his services. Thanks. I, well, look, you at least need to reimburse me for his time. And his hourly rate is not cheap. He is, I assure you, uh, the What's that? So you're breaking up. Sorry. Um, okay, then. Cool. And we're back here in the locker rooms. All right. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more WWE 2K20. Mike Grimo. Catch you in the next video. Peace.